Hello YouTube. So it's been about a month since my last vlog. Um, I'm sorry we've been really busy recently and I haven't had so much stuff to uh, to talk to you about. Um, this one as it sits is going to be a bit more of a, a relaxed vlog. There's not going to be a huge amount of stuff that I need to, to go through but just a bit of juice, a bit of what I've been vaping, some bits and pieces which are going on. Um, but some, some interesting stuff hopefully and um, hopefully you'll notice that we have changed rooms so we moved out of the uh, the smaller room and now into a larger room lots of bits and pieces around the place but um, hopefully that's not going to affect your enjoyment of the vlog um, so yeah it's been uh, an interesting couple of weeks since since the last vlog we've had um, we've had brexit which is uh, interesting um and uh, who knows what that's going to mean for for vaping um it might mean that things like the tpd are going to be less enforced it might mean that um the government is going to need to tax things a little bit more who knows um whatever happens it's going to be different there's going to be some change in the air i'm sure so uh hey look it is what it is whichever way you voted in or out um hopefully that won't affect your uh, your vaping but um yeah let's get off politics because that is obviously um, a hot topic at the moment um and especially when it's not related to any sort of advocacy for for vaping there's no purpose for having it here so yes yeah, so what have i been vaping so um recently i have been getting back into my hexome version 3 clony thingamabob um the one with the uh voltage meter on the side potentiometer and i've been using the petrie version 2 with the cupcake cap on the top of it um and i've got a pair of dual fused clapsons in there which is performing very nicely it's about a quarter of the way up on the potentiometer if you can see that and it's given me 3.69 volts in that I have um, a new juice which I've got um, today um, so it's Buddha Dew which is a citrus soda um, it's an American juice I believe it's a 70-30 mix it's by uh, a company that makes it is vapor vaporscloud.com you can't see that can you hang on there you go vaporscloud.com um, and that is a really nice citrusy sort of um, sodary sort of uh, maybe even slightly sherbetty sort of juice uh, it's uh, it, it's very nice I am um, I was recommended to try it I normally use when I want something like that and sort of the, the the juice with a little bit more of a citrusy sort of hit which I've been getting into more recently I have a bit of Zeus juice which is nice but this is a nice alternative it's about 19 quid for 30, uh, 60 mil sorry so um, good size really tasty um, nice performance nice airflow as per usual with the petri and the cupcake um, and really good power delivery out of this um, hexone clone thing but yeah really really nice yeah so what else um, old faithful the K box 200 with the limitless RDTA on the top again a pair of dual fuse Clapton's in there um, it's it's a lovely vape I really really enjoy this I normally run this well this is a 0.22 ohm coil and I'm running this at 55 watts it could stand to potentially be a little bit higher but the balance of battery life that I get out of this and the um, you know and the flavor that I get off this it's it's a slightly cooler vape in comparison with the hexome um, but it's uh, it's nice and it's um, it's very flavorful also I had some comments around um, 
the uh, this particular tank or this RDTA around its spitting back. Um, I find that if I have the wattage just slightly lower, then I get much less spit back. Um, I don't get a huge amount of spit back anyway, but when I have it sort of about 55 watts, 0.2 ohm coil, it's just spot on. It's a real sweet spot for this particular tank. Wicks like crazy, um, drinks juice, but other than that, really, really nice vape. Really interested to see what the version 2 is going to be like, the Plus. Um, that will be something which I will be purchasing very soon, I'm sure. It seems to be a little bit more expensive. I saw it, where did I see it? I think I saw it on Fastate for about $40. Um, I think it's going to come down in price quite a lot. So um, looking forward to that. I personally, though, I think this one looks better than the pictures that I've seen of the Plus. So I will be, you know, interested to try it out. This one's obviously 24 millimeters around. The plus is 25. So it's going to be a quite a hefty, hefty tank on top of these sorts of mods. Not so much in the way of ventilation in this room. So uh, apologies for that. In fact, actually, maybe a bit more lighting is required, possibly yeah possibly okay so yeah that's um that's been really really good i use that on a daily basis and this one has this in so this is charlie's chalk dust this is uh drama swirl so this is a hang on let me just have a quick look let me google this very quickly for you um drama swirl Um, so that is part of the Cosmic Charlie's Chalk Dust range, so the white label range. They, as you, as you, I'm sure you all know, they do a, a black label and a white label. So you've got the black label there, um, and then the white label, obviously. Um, and the drama swirl is um the description is imagine an apricot 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 glazed golden pastry now imagine vaping it yep we're excited blah 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 okay so the flavor profile is apricot glazed golden pastry lovely very nice um so really enjoying that that's the second bottle that i've got of that so well on the way to consuming 60 ml of um of the uh, drama swirl what else have we been using um let me just get that up so the next device that i've been really enjoying and i've come back to um because i've really sort of worked out for me how it works i think hang on here we go um it's the cricket so i use the cricket quite a lot previously and i've sort of gone off it for a bit um but now I've come back to it. Basically, the reason I went off it is because I couldn't build properly for it. And I was finding that to get a decent coil in there, then I would need to have some absolutely massive sized coils. So what I decided to do was instead of getting massive dual coils, I would put in a single coil. So I've gone with a single fused Clapton on there. Comes out at about 0 0.5, um, 0 0.5 two i think exactly um and that is giving me a really tasty flavorful vape um i'm using the phenotype on here because it's got that nice big deck big post holes and it has um these massive airflow holes as, as you all have seen from my previous video but when it's such a hot vape it's actually it's a really nice package to use An incredibly good vapor performance. Um, I've got one air hole open on each side, which cools it down just a touch, but otherwise, it's a really nice series vapor. Um, yeah, in there, I've got some flawless aftermath, um, which is interesting. It's 
I think it's described as a um, it's a, a sort of a donut flavor. Hang on, let me again, let me look that up. Um, so the flavor profile for that is where is it? One second. So yeah, that is a a creamy glazed donut filled with juicy blueberry bits or bites served with a side of vanilla bean ice cream and finished off with a touch of crunch berries. Very nice. So that's available in um, these 60 ml bottles um, and it is an 80-20 VGPG blend. They've, um, they've got different nicotine strengths in these as well. So this one is two milligrams. So they don't appear to do a three milligram version. So it's either two or four um, in the strengths that I would, would use. So I went with the, the two. Um, and it's, again, a very nice vape. Maybe a touch donutty for my taste. Um, but it comes in a cool bottle. Um, comes with a another cap for the top. So you can just pop that on the top there, which is always useful. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And then the other device that I've been using a lot is my um, DNA 200 Halcyon Squonk box um, from Lost Vape. Um, a little bit juicy at the moment. So I've got on this a really messy looking, um, again, dual fuse captain. Um, that's about a five wrap, I think, on there. Let me just wipe that off a little bit. Um, and that's a point, point 0.19 ohm build on there. And I'm vaping that at 50 watts. And that has, what does that have in it? Uh, that has some liquid nation. And this is the... Dolce Gelato, so it's an ice cream flavour. Sorry, I'm not very well prepared today. Let me um, just check and see what the flavour profile is on that. One second. Apologies. Right, okay. So that is um, inspired by Italian masters ice cream of ice cream. Dolce Gelato blends tangy Sicilian lemon with ripe strawberries before pairing them with perfect Italian ice cream to give you a perfect summery dessert vape. Light, airy, fruity and delicious, and if you're a dessert fan, you may have just found your new all-day vape, according to vapeclub.co.uk. Um, and to be fair, I would actually absolutely agree with them. I think it's a fantastic vape. Um, it comes, well, you can get it in 30 mils, you can get it in 20 mils, that's a 30 mil bottle, and that's 16 quid, um, which is not bad. Um, Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's really nice. Oh, by the way, the flawless is nineteen ninety nine. Um, so yeah, that's that's a delicious vape. And I suppose then the final thing to talk to you about, which I've been using, is my um, Tug Life Tube Mech. So again, I I this has gone to it went to the back of the cupboard basically for a little while. Um, and I've only just got it back out again. There we go. Tug Life version 2 it would be, or version 1. The version 1 was the um, aluminium one. This is the all copper mod. Um, and I've got it topped with a Tugboat uh, version 3 atomizer. What I've done is I, and I don't know if I mentioned this in a different video, but I ditched the top cap. So that's not the top cap, oh, it's somewhere else. But I ditched the top cap, I put this um, summit cap on. So we don't bother with that top flow air, top airflow anymore. Just go with the side airflow. And it's really nice. I put a single coil in there, which you can't see. Again, a dual fuse clapton. And what did I have in this? I've got angel kiss in here which let's be honest is fantastic it's a really nice nice all-day vape it's 
very unoffensive I find and it works a treat. Maybe the battery needs charging. Yeah, lovely. Really nice. I like to have a Mac um, on standby from time to time. Obviously, I've got the Cricket at the moment as well. Um, but this is just, this is lovely. It's just a throw in your pocket quick. Quick, quick vape. Um, but yeah, that's that's all I've really got in terms of vaping this week. Um, some nice juices. Oh, I got this one as well. So the Far Liquids Neon Neon Green Slushy. So that's more of a mentholy type of flavour, which is kind of nice um, from Element. But other than that, that's all I've really got. Um, if anyone has any requests, let me know. Um, I'm very happy. Oh. Apologies. I've got this stuff, which I'm not sure about. Um, Fire Dragon. It's a UK company, I believe. Yeah, UK company. It's an 80-20 VGPG blend. It's very blue, which I'm concerned about. I like clear liquids normally. Um, but these are 10 quid a bottle, and these are 30 ml each. So actually, not bad. Um, I won't review them because I haven't got anything set up to put them in. But I've been using them from time to time. They're not as refined as some of the other liquids. But I suppose you'd expect that for £10. Um, but yeah, that's what I've got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed it. And apologies for not doing a, a vlog recently. Um, I need to review my Tsunami 24 for you. I know. Um, and... Hopefully get some more stuff in soon. I'm toying between, and let me know in the comments what you think, but I'm toying between the Lost Vape Therian, so the 75 watt, DNA 75, um, dual parallel 18650 mod, or the Solara DNA 200. Now, I know that that seems potentially like a bit of a no-brainer, go for the 200 watt device, but I do like the idea of having removable 18650s for my, for my mod, so, let me know what your thoughts are. If anyone's tried both of them out, let me know. Um, they're about £100 versus the... Uh, the Therian's £100 versus the Solara, which I think is about 140 So it's a considerable amount of money to spend on a mod. But um, let me know what your thoughts are, and um, I will endeavour to purchase one to review for you. So thank you very much indeed. I hope you've uh, you've enjoyed the new new room and setup. It's a bit darker, but um, but thank you very much. And what am I going to have to see you out? What have we got that's dripped? That let's have that. Thank you very much, and I will see you again hopefully very soon.